come a time where you don't quite like how things look in Space Engine or you want to make your own planets. In this video I'll be teaching you how to make a planet for Space Engine so you can share your creations online. Anyway, let's get into the video. Hopefully you can follow these instructions on how to make a beautiful planet. I'm going to be making a certain type of a planet. If you want to make a different type, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Though if you have any difficulties, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, let's get into the video. You probably won't be having to see a, any lag in this video. I'm just going to exit this planet so you don't have to watch lag. Anyway, this is the Trappist-1 system and I would like to change a few things in it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into the star browser, which is the first thing you want to do to um, create a new planet. What we're going to do to make a add-on for um, a planet is we are going to search for a planet that's kind of similar to what we like. So if you like a planet and it kind of matches what you want for your add-on, then I guess you you can use that one or find another one that looks even better but we're just going to be using a rough search and we'll be customizing things later anyway in here type in a search radius of about 100 light years head over to filter settings um, unless you're like wanting to find a certain star or the likelihood of finding a planet instead of searching through a big list of stuff that or waiting a long time you can change that although I don't need it all I need is a planet and I'm just gonna select planet only and then I'm going to I'll leave I'll go about temper it because that's kind of okay and then I'm gonna go for Oceania or Oceania Oceana, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. You can let me know in the comments because I really want to master this name. Uh, this doesn't matter for what I want to do. But anyway, what? So you know what's going on. Um, I want to recreate the Trappist 1E planet, which is what you just saw a few moments ago. But I decided to exit that because I couldn't handle that lag. Anyway, click OK if you are happy with that. Wait a little while and it will start searching and finding planets. Now it's going to come up with a bunch of HIP and a lot of things. You want to try and go for a planet that's a random star so it will have the letters RS at the front which stand for random star. So you're not really copying anything else in the space engine folders. Although we're just going to wait till this is almost done, or we're just going to wait for a little while. And we have some random searches and random stars, so we'll just stop it there. And down the bottom, we'll just head over to this one. We're going to open up this and see what there is here. It says that there's one with life, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to wait for it to load. Which will take a little while, but we'll be able to see what everything looks like in a moment. Okay, things are loading in. So what have we got here? Hot desert, scorched... Oh my gosh, that is bright. Wow. Almost giant, cool, Selena cold gas giant uh, cold gas giant and cold ice world this isn't what we want we'll go to the other star which is a red looks more like a yellow type dwarf but it's red we'll head over to the planet system now this is the one that has life so I'm guessing that this is probably the one that has the Oceania planet and these planets will load in hot gas giant cool Oceania with life so we're just gonna head over here We'll move this out of the way, um, if it wants to, 
because of course it might not want to. This looks kind of like what we want, so I'm just going to X this off. So this is kind of looking good, so I might be using this. We're just going to wait for it to X off, because that's what it's going to do. It's going to lag. Anyway, we've got a rather fast going moon here. It is actually rotating and stuff. So yeah, X that off. Oh my gosh. Now, of course, the planet is not going to look like this. It just doesn't want to load in. The pla Don't worry, the planets aren't going to look so spiky. This kind of ruins the video. But anyway. We've kind of got a planet there. So, I'm actually going to go to a different planet. Not because it's spiky, although, um... I just found another planet that I kind of like, so I just named it to this. You don't have to um, do this, although you're going to want to use that thing, so just find a planet we're going to go to. X off this. Hopefully this doesn't spike up. But yeah, this is a um, terrestrial planet. I'm going to change a few, um, a bit of this later. So this is kind of what we want here. Um, temperate terror with life. This planet is okay. Time to read out the name. OS 8474-2962-7-1581029-1B3 <sighs> Yeah, that's the planet. It's a random thing. Now, this isn't a binary system, but it's no longer going to be in a binary system once I export this planet, which is what we're going to do now. Go into um, press escape, editor, edit planet. You can change a few things here, although this won't save, and we want to download the script anyway, so it's basically pointless. Although one, some things that we can do is change the atmosphere and stuff here if you want to, although I don't really need to. So, we've got everything here, we're just going to export the script. Now, because I've already got a, a lot of um things in here i'm gonna name it so i can tell which one you might want to name them so you don't have to search through all the planets so i'm just gonna um backspace all of this so it's no longer gonna be random star it's gonna be uh oh yes new dash one e which is what i want it to be i'm gonna leave the rs there because why not i can i can do that and we're gonna export and now we have exported our planet once we've done that we can close off all of this and yeah we can slow down the time and we're gonna reset it so time and reset Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the export folder, which is what I'll be showing you now. And we are now in our export thing here. So, where is our thing? We're just going to, uh, um, it will, to, for you it won't look like this. For you, um, the little icons are going to look white, so they're just going to look blank. Um, so we're just going to go and search through all of this uh, or we could just search through here so we're gonna go um oh yes new okay and here we are so um we're gonna right click you're gonna want to go like open with and click wordpad and once you've done that you can do as many edits as you want so in this case for me what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna change this to trappist dash one e now as you can see i made a spell oh my gosh um i made a spelling mistake so i'm just gonna go put a a in there um there we are so now that we've got uh, that sorted, we're going to go put this as wrap this dash 
one. I spelt that correctly this time. Uh, class terror, blah 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 blah. You can do as many edits as you want. I'm just gonna do some coding here, so uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have done that and saved everything, you want to um, save your file somewhere. I'm just going to save it in desktop because um, that's an easy way to do it. The easiest way to turn this into a .pack file, which is what you're going to need to do, is to just go in a zip, um, a WinRAR, a WinRAR zip or something. Anything will do. Um, just gonna exit out of that. Then what you want to do is you're going to find your text document, which would be this. Now remove the dot text part, and then hit enter, and it is now a dot pack file. Exit off, and you should have a now dot pack file all ready so you can use it now what you're going to do is you're going to go up into the space engine folder hit on add-ons i've got some add-ons already here go in catalogs if um if um the catalogs and then planets folder so if these catalogs and planets folder are not already created which they probably won't then just create them just um as long as then they as long as you've got catalogs and add-ons and then you put um, a folder named planets inside catalogs you're fine you just need to add those folders in now over here what we're going to do is um go and copy this so we're gonna copy and then we are going to paste it right in there. So now we have got a pack file. Actually, no, well, no, we don't want it to be pack. We want to. Sorry about the hold up. I want to delete that. We want it to not be pack. We want it to be dot sc. So let's let's try that again. I, I'm sorry if you're following this step by step. I'm um, sorry if you're doing that. Um, go down to it. Uh, um, here we are. Name it, rename, SC. My mistake. My bad, my bad. I, I'm sorry. SC. Now we, what we want to do is we want to copy. And we're going to paste that in there. I don't know why it turned into a, uh, a what's it called? The, um, that type of, uh, it's called WordPad. I don't know why it turned into that. I think when I was opening it, I accidentally didn't, um, um, I think I accidentally clicked, um, always open up with that file. But that doesn't matter, it's still an SC file. Now you just want to minus that. And now we are going to start up Space Engine. Okay, and I have started up Space Engine, and this is what I got. I got this nice beautiful planet here. As you can see, I removed the rings. I changed the atmosphere a little bit. Only a little bit, but a little bit. I changed the sea level, which you can see here if I turn the clouds off. So we've got a bit more land got life this is the new trappist 1e and this is a cool tiller it is a minus 35 i might change that who knows i might change the greenhouse effect so it is a bit warmer but otherwise i think this is a pretty nice planet that I, we have got here i will leave a download link in the description if you like my trappist 1e add-on it's not really much i just all I did was change the um, pl um, one planet, although I've been wanting to do this for a little while. 
but yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you do need help with like the coding part, you find the coding like the script very, very hard and difficult to understand, then let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. If enough people have trouble, then I will make a video about it. But anyway, um, yeah, this is this is what I got. I got something nice here. Now, as you can see, if I turn around to see the star, I have changed the effects of the star um, of stars in Space Engine. Not with a add-on. I just um, changed changed it in the settings part. Um, so yeah, we've got this nice, beautiful glare. It, Oh gosh, this is, this is too beautiful for me. Come on, this is nice. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've said that enough times, but yeah. Goodbye.